Hey everybody, this is James from Supplied Incorporated. Today we have a full in-depth video of all the LeBron 12s that we currently have. Um, I hope you guys like it. Leave your questions, comments, concerns, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're going to be giving away shoes shortly. So first one we got up, LeBron 12 Instinct colorway. So this is one of my, I mean out of all the LeBron 12 colorways we currently have and all of them that are supposed to come out, this is one of my favorites besides the Lionheart. Uh, one of the reasons why I like this the most is because it changes colors, like you probably see in the video, when you move it side to side. Uh, it's just like the Kobe cloak as far as the effect that it has on the outside, and I really like that shoe, so this is one of those ones I really like. Um, as far as the quality on it, I said this in multiple videos, I think the quality on it's really good, uh, it performs really well, really well, it's really comfortable, I like the way it looks. Some of you guys don't like the way it looks, but I personally do. Um, and as far as you know, the rarity or how hype beast up this particular color is, I think this is going to be one of the more expensive colors. You know, sometimes I'm wrong, but I think this is, will, be, will be the one that's more expensive. So this one, I'm not sure exactly what the release date is on this because they did a recall for the LeBron 12s because of the clip issue. So I would probably assume this is going to be sometime in November or December. Um, next one, so this one is the LeBron 12 data colorway. This was originally set to release as the, pretty much the last colorway in December, but this one will probably come out, I would assume, in January or so after they've done this recall. Uh, I like this colorway a lot too. This is probably my second, maybe my third favorite colorway out of all six or se out of all seven of them. But the reason why I like this is because it's really simple. Uh, it's got a lot of simple colors on the outside that really just work together, just being an all black shoe. It's just got a couple of color accents. But the insole is what really you know, makes this shoe cool. And it's got, you know, you'll see some detail on it where it's got this prism look inside and it's got a really cool you know, inside, you know, all this inside detail goes throughout the whole entire insole. Um, again, same thing where I like the quality on this shoe, but I think that this one will be one of those G, more, more GR than that Invisible Cloak or Instinct that I just talked about. Uh, next one we got is uh, the Six Meridians, or originally this was the Nerf colorway, but it is Six Meridians. Um, I think that this is one of the harder colorways to pull off. Uh, as far as compared to all the, all the other colorways, I think this one will probably be one of those ones where it's either you love it or you really hate it. Uh, Definitely got. It looks like a Big Bang kind of. It looks like an all-star LeBron, but it's got this yellow on it that kind of deters away from it being all orange, and it's got a little bit of blue in the liner. Um, as far as you know, this being probably one of the easier ones to cop, just because of the color combination. I think a lot of people. I do think all the LeBron 12s, whenever they come out, are going to sell out. I think that because of this recall, because of the hype. Um, people are just going to buy them because they've been waiting for them for so long. That's happened in the past with previous shoes, so don't expect to just walk into a house of hoops and just be able to buy them easily, but I don't think that these will go for a lot more than retail. Um, so, next one we got is, so I guess, I guess I should keep this one up for this, is I have a kid's version, so this, these are both samples. So this is a sample size 12, this is a sample size three and a half. Um, but what I wanted to show was what the differences were between the adult version and the kids version. Because these are exactly how they're going to release, except for the clip issue, like I said, that's going to probably be fixed with the recall. Um, and also, I, I said this in previous videos, that the recall wasn't for the six on the back and the six on the bottom. But after these first seven colorways that you've seen that Nike's unveiled, I, you'll probably notice that the eighth, the ninth, the tenth colorway that comes out and all the rest of them, they will probably change it over to the 23. But because they had started production on these way before he had changed his number from six, from you know the 23 to the six, and he wasn't in his decision of no, or from the six to the 23, he wasn't in the decision of knowing what he was gonna do. They didn't know. Uh, they had already. They weren't gonna go back and redo every single pair. So differences on the adult and the kid size, pretty much. They're. I mean, usually you'll see a lot of differences on an adult and a kid size, especially from a LeBron standpoint. But these are actually pretty much the exact same. A uh, big difference is that this tongue doesn't have the exact same detail here on the very front portion. And then you'll also notice that when you flip down the bottoms, they're pretty much, you know, pretty damn close to the exact same. So sometimes you'll see that's different on, uh, on 
a lot of the LeBrons and stuff like that. And then the only other thing that I noticed going through the whole entire shoe was that uh, there's not another lace hole here. So if you notice, uh, it's kind of hard to tell on video, but we'll have a close up of it, is that there's only one lace hoop here and there's two on the adult pair. But overall, pretty much the exact same and then you don't have the fly wire. But the cool thing about the 12 is like, unlike a 10 or a nine, you can't really see the fly wire in here, or I guess the 10. You can't really see the fly wire in here, it's underneath the shoe. So you got these little blue fly wire loops here, you don't have that on this one, but pretty much exact same. So, and then the last colorway I have, this is a kid size, it's a kid size sample, three and a half. Um, but this is the, you know, the Dunk Man or Dunk Force, it's, it's a Dunk Man. Uh, and, this is probably gonna be the same exact thing with the kids version difference is that it won't have this extra lace loop hole it doesn't have the fly wire but everything else is pretty much the exact same exact same the only thing I will say is that I'm not sure um, if the uh, one of, on the inside of the other pair of this there's a big six and I'll show you that you'll see a close-up of that right now and I'm not sure if that will be the exact same on the adult or not I, I have no idea I don't have an adult pair in front of me but that's something to keep in mind um, Overall, I think this colorway is really clean and simple. I think this one will be, will sell, but I don't think every Dunk colorway pretty much over the last couple of years has just been a GR. It hasn't really sold for anything special. So I think you'll probably experience that with this one too. It won't be a hard colorway to get, but like I said, I think every LeBron 12 will sell out no matter what. So LeBron 12s overall, it's a great shoe. I think this looks good. Some of you guys might not performs really well, is really freaking comfortable, like just as comfortable as LeBron 8s, and that's my favorite LeBron, other than LeBron 4s, but those are kind of bulky. And, um, you know, I think that you'll really be impressed by the shoe when you have it in hand, and you've worn it, and you've tested it. Um, great shoe overall. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, let us know. We'll gladly answer them, and make sure you subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned next week. Thanks.